According to a new study in the journal Science, children born in 2020 will experience extreme climate events at a rate that is seven times higher Jeez. than people born in 1960. Whew. Scientists say that the current rate of global warming and national policies that fail to make necessary cuts in the heat trapping pollution, climate events such as heat waves will continue to rise in frequency, intensity, and duration that leaves children of younger generations f facing a severe threat to their safety, according to the study's authors. The scientists compared people born in 1960 with a child who was six years old in 2020 and said that the six-year-old will experience twice as many cyclones and wildfires, three times as many river floods, four times as many crop failures, and five to seven times as many droughts. Hmm. Greta Thunberg, she gave a speech at the Youth for Climate Summit, and let's watch. Our hopes and dreams drown in their empty words and promises. Of course, we need constructive dialogue, but they've now had 30 years of blah, blah, <laughs> now, blah, okay, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, now Vanessa yeah. Nakate, she is 24 years old. She's also an environmental activist. She pointed out how climate change disproportionately affects the African continent, despite its carbon emissions being lower than every other continent but Antarctica. Let's watch. You cannot adapt to lost cultures. You cannot adapt to lost traditions. You cannot adapt to lost history. We're seeing weird, strange, extreme, severe weather events everywhere yeah. and and every week it's like somebody else is saying boy did you see what happened there that's crazy no that's climate change yeah. it's not crazy. it's not crazy that's climate change <laughs> yeah. exactly and it's just getting worse and worse and worse the planet has until 2030 to stem the catastrophic climate change uh the united nations is warning a report was issued by the un in intergovernmental panel on climate change it says that the threshold of one and a half degrees Celsius, which is 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit, above industrial levels will be hit as on average on the earth by the year 2030. So what does that mean? More frequent and intense droughts, more rainfall in certain areas. It means less rainfall in other areas. It means that the Great Barrier Reef by 2030 will no longer exist in Australia. Uh, most of the wildlife in the Great Barrier Reef will die off, huge, huge problems. I read that by 2040, the earth could be in many places uninhabitable. As I've always said, mm -hmm. there is an enormous link mm -hmm. between climate change and immigration mm -hmm. because people can't live where they are living. Right. Okay. People don't have a home. Right. So what are they going to do? They're going to go to the United States of America. Mm -hmm. They're going to migrate. They're going to move. I got nothing left here. I have not, it's not about rebuilding. It's destroyed. Right. So they're gonna go to a place that's not destroyed. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.